My name is Josh Jorgensen and I'm a land-based fisherman. I've had plenty of amazing adventures on the boat, but my heart is always drawn back to the beach. This is where, this is actually the beach where I learned how to saltwater fish. And being here on the Atlantic coast of Florida, I would always look across and wonder, man, what would it be like to go land-based fishing in the Bahamas? So this year, we finally booked this amazing adventure. I called my buddy Preston from Destin. We booked a flight with Tropic Air and we flew to San Salvador. This is one of the most incredible islands in the Bahamas. It's on the eastern side. It's where Columbus first discovered the Americas and it's a legendary fishing spot. None of us have ever been to this island before, so this trip is all about exploring a new fishing spot, exploring a new island, learning everything we can about it. This is Coastlines. We got 10 days to figure out how we're gonna do this, but it's gonna, what I love about this is we got a real challenge, dude. I think it's gonna be the, a real challenge. the beauty of this trip is you know, people come to vacation here. For us, this is not a vacation. This is gonna be work, you yeah. know? And, and it's gonna be exciting, I think. Yeah. I think it's gonna really test uh, what we know, what we think we know. Uh, and all we have to go off of is Google Earth, really. There is no video about San Salvador, no fishing video. No, there's nothing. This is the first one. This is it, yeah. So, yeah. so we're gonna go there with, with a couple we're exploring. kites. Like a, we're, 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 we're explorers, it's, dude. It's totally dependent on the wind and where yeah. we're gonna fish. I, I, can't, I cannot wait. Every day is gonna be different. Every day is a new chalkboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. Oh no. What's that movie where he drank and he drinks again? I can't feel my leg. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Adventure I'm started, excited. bud. Yeah, we're yeah, here, bro. man. We're here. Golly. And we're riding on the left side of the road. Yeah, yeah. we officially have started this trip. We got our, our stuff unloaded in our in our uh, rooms. We got a rental car. And our man Jason here is going to give us a nice tour so that we know where everything is. We got to get very familiar. Tomorrow is exploration day. So we're going to explore the whole island and kind of learn everything and then from there we're gonna make our fishing decisions and move on from there yeah yeah we don't really know what's here we know there is a grocery store we know that there's a place to maybe get beer there's a marina somewhere and uh jason jason's gonna take us there show us everything i'll show you guys all the best spots are and the way the happy hours are and all that stuff and sometimes it gets so flat the water's so silky clear and sharp you can't tell the difference between the water and the horizon. Oh my gosh. It's just smooth, clear, and so clear is the visibility under the water could be over 100, 100 or 200 feet sometimes. 200 feet oh of base? Oh my gosh. Oh clear. my goodness. Now, now the lakes that are in the middle of the island, are those freshwater, salt water? They are all salt water. Is there fish in them? No, no fish at all. Um, it's all salt water. Uh, we don't have any snakes or anything of that sort on the island. So you don't really There's no water. snakes? No snakes on the island. No one had ever tried to catch a wahoo from shore before, so you guys will be the first, and I hope that you guys be able to land a big one. Dude, does uh, that mean that we could be famous on the island if we do it? Famous. You <laughs> guys will be famous. I love it. Our final mission of the day was to get our groceries and supplies for the week, so we headed to the local grocery store. From there, we headed back to our rooms, ate our early dinner, went to bed early, and woke up the next day ready to search the island. So today we're exploring the island. We're gonna learn everything we can so we can make really good decisions when it comes to fishing. And also we have to find some, we have to catch some fish today to eat because we have no food. Every day we have to catch something to eat. That's the way this rolls. I'm trying to get used to this dude. Yeah. All right. This is where Christopher Columbus discovered Americas, the, the Americas. So Dude, think about that. On right here at this cross is where Christopher Columbus first landed in October, on October 12th, 1492. The first place he came when he came across the ocean. What's that saying? It's 1492, Columbus sailed the ocean blue. Now we got a fish back here and see if he found a good fishing spot. Wow, he discovered it. First cast. Oh, beautiful. Any luck, Preston? Let's keep going. The purpose of what we're doing right now is to really get a good visual when we're comparing Google Maps to the 
actual spots. So I'll get this car right here. You're nervous, you drive, can drive on the side of the road, you never know what to drive on. But that that's the that's the purpose. We just wanna visualize. So like obviously where we just were, there's no way you're fishing right there. But on the south side of the island, it gets deep very, very quickly. Now it looks like that on Navionics, looks like that on Google Maps. Obviously you need an actual visual to see what it really is. Dude, look at the edge, bro. It's right there, bro. Oh my gosh. Look at the edge, dude. Look how close it is. Right there, bro. This is definitely one of the key spots, 100%. It actually looks closer than it looked like in the map. It's so close. I mean, 400 yards that way, you're in thousands of feet of water. It's unbelievable. Or, you know, hundreds or if not thousands of feet of water. Do you live, on, do you live here? We stay here for a month a year. So That's you awesome. you bait in the creek, Pigeon Creek. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably the only fish we see bait. Okay. But we catch water here too. Some of the guys. In the surf? Uh, no. Right. Trolling just out. Wow. You can't get shark. Sure. There's a lot of sharks here? Yeah. What kind of sharks? If you catch a wahoo, you better get them to the beach quick. Yeah, yeah right there. If you get a well, north wind, I mean, you can about surf fish from there. From the wahoo. From the wahoo, yeah. Oh my gosh, dude. That's, 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 that's where we're going, yeah. yeah that's cool. All right, buddy, well, thanks, man. Enjoy yeah. the waves, dude. Thank, thank you so much. much. Thank you, you so much. Catch some fish in the marina sometimes. Heck yeah, good to know. Bullfish. Really? Bro, how, how, how much does that fire you up? Yeah, that's good to hear. It's a hard confirmation right there. This spot right here we're going to is the reason we came here. Seriously. Like, this is the closest I've ever seen the edge to an island in the, in the Bahamas. I, I think this is the deepest part. Besides, there's another spot in Rum K on the southwest corner. Rum K is really hard to get to. In terms of actually getting somewhere, th this, this spot is supposed to be the best. So cool. Oh Jurassic my gosh, Park, I, can, I just saw the spot, dude. It's ridiculous. It's like literally, I can throw a rock at 600 feet of water. This is the path right here? This is one of the paths that you can take if you want to try in this area. Oh, dude, this looks, there's a lot of reef here. Yeah, there's a lot of reef here. So if you want to give it a try. When I was younger, where I fished, there was lots of rocks. And I tried every shoe. Every shoe, flip flops, sandals. And I went through so many stubbed toes, cuts. Fox, dude, down you. I'm, like, I'm look, a big fan. Look at that. Yeah. Look at this. Look. You do that with a pair of flip flops. Let me know how you feel. Yeah, exactly. You're miserable. These things are awesome, dude. In terms of a land-based fishing shoe, nothing better. This is pretty gnarly. Okay. You don't want to fall here. No. The water's got to come up here a pretty good ways. There's a lot of fish right there, bro. I see them. I know. Pen battle 220 to 20 to 100. Oh, is that a bite? There we go. Fish on. You got him? Oh, yeah. Mudding, dude. You got your mutton? You got a mudding. Heck yeah. First fish of the trip. We'll let you go. Don't worry. We don't have our ice with us. We're just exploring today. But if you bite my line tomorrow, you're done for, all right? I'll let you go now, all right? That is full pressing. That's a deadly lure right there, man. We're gonna have so much fun on this trip. We're just exploring today, but we're gonna catch a few fish. We're gonna learn the area, and then the more we get real serious. We're gonna move on. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna keep moving. Thanks, Jason. Thanks, buddy. Oh my gosh, dude. Here we go. Oh my gosh, dude. Look at that rock point, bro. Oh, that is epic. Look at the edge, bro. Look at the edge, dude. It's right there. Look at it. What? That's the edge, dude. No way. That's the edge, right, right there, bro. Oh my god. I have no doubt in my mind that there is plenty of fish to catch. We just gotta find the right spots. I mean, that that first spot we're at, uh, where the edge was really close, it looks like an amazing place to catch fish from shore with a kite. Obviously, we have even confirmation from the guy that, that lives there, but. I think bait's gonna be a problem there. So I think as we get closer around here where this, where this rock wall is, there's a lot more rocks here. I think we're gonna find a lot more bait fish here. Whoa, look at this. Oh my gosh. 
I'm thinking over here is probably where we're gonna find a kite fishing spot. I wouldn't even dream of going on rocks like this without frogs, dude. I wouldn't even dream about it. Flip flops, this is like going to the hospital. There's a live well? We got one over here too. Guys, uh, Preston brought up a good point. Look at this right here. We could use this as a live well for our bait. Dude, yes. Oh my gosh, that's money, dude. He's hooked up. Preston's hooked up. He's got one. Good runner. Let's put him in this live well right here. Bro, we're going to get a wahoo right here, bro. This is why we came here, bro. This one spots the kite, bro. Look at that, bro. Look at that, dude. <laughs> we got a live well. I don't need no pump. You don't need a pump, dude. The edge is so close, it's unbelievable. I've never seen the edge that close ever in my life. It's incredible. When we say the word edge, what we're talking about is the drop off. It's where the shallow water just drops off. And right here, very close, less than 300 yards, I think it is, it's in, you go 600 feet of water. So 300 yards from these rocks, it just drops off and that's the edge, it's just, it's just a cliff. So we're here at Pigeon Creek, Guys, Preston has not said stop saying the word pigeon for the last three weeks, bro. <laughs> All he talks about it, is it pigeon. It deserves a better name pigeon than pigeon. <laughs> the, the pigeons are migrating, bro. Let's go see him. <laughs> Yo, where's Preston at? He's already gone? You gotta capture his emotions. Where'd Preston go? Oh, there he is. He's already going. Is this everything you dreamed of? Everything you've been reading about? So far, man, I mean, this is just, just incredible. I mean, you just gotta let the, the video do the talking. This water is unbelievable. There he is. <laughs> what was it? I don't know yet. A little hardtail. This is a really good bait. We don't have a, a, a way to keep him right now. So I'm gonna let him go. It's the first time I've ever, I've ever, I mean, I'm wearing shoes in the water right now. And I'm, I'm a flop guy. That's just what I wear in the spring, summer, and winter. You know, every, every season of the year, I, I wear flip flops. This is the first time I've actually worn croc shoes. And I would be lost here without them, there's no doubt. Um, and we've already, I feel like I've climbed a volcano already. And without these, I just wouldn't have been able to do it. And 10 minutes later, I'm walking in the water, which is, which is such a nice tool to have. Our original plans today were to fish, to, to search the entire south side, actually to search the whole island, but this island is a lot bigger than we thought it was. So we could not do the northeast side. We're gonna do that tomorrow. We have to catch dinner right now. We have to catch something to eat. <laughs> we do not have anything to eat. So we're gonna explore the marina right now and look for some snappers, mangroves, muddins. I think there might be some snappers there, those rocks. That's a good spot. Yeah, I've seen a lot of bait already. Yeah, so. there's definitely, and, a, and a, you know how smart a dock mangrove is. Oh dude. yeah, and especially so, in this clear water. Yeah, yeah, they may not mess with our lures that much, but let's give it a shot. <laughs> I'm gonna check, check right here. Another one. Get him, buddy, get him. What is it? What? Dude, it's a strawberry grouper, right? It's a little baby strawberry, looks like. Woo, there you go. It ain't looking too good for us right now, bro. We're gonna starve, bro. If we were on a desert island right now, we would not be in good shape. <laughs> We'd be starving tonight. Well, we did, we to, did to let be, go. We to be fair, go. yeah, we let go. We, uh, let, we let go of our dinner. We let it go. We it was, it was early. Those jacks. And we really haven't, um, we haven't really fished a lot today. We've been going to a new spot and casting I'll like tell you ten what, times. The bugs are so bad right now, bro. They're in my eyes. Forever, they're no seams. Oh, dude, gnarly. I say we go back and call Jason. Yeah. And see if we get some cheeseburgers, bro. <laughs> Let's do it, man. Let's go. Yesterday we explored the west end, south side, and a little bit of the southeast side. Today we're gonna explore the northeast side. We're gonna fish around here. I feel really good with the northeast point. I think that's where we're gonna find some snapper. Mm -hmm. We're gonna fish that, and then we're gonna come back and get lunch, and then we're gonna get ready, because tomorrow we got the wind for the kite fishing, so that's gonna be our Wahoo day. So we have to come back here and set up everything, and we're gonna see if our fish is still alive in the live well, see how good that live well is, or if it got stolen by a bird and then use them the following morning, first light for Wahoo. How's that sound? I'm pumped, dude. We gotta catch dinner today, bro. Yesterday we ate cheeseburgers. We're, we're fishermen now. Today is a real fishing day, and we're gonna, we're gonna, we have to catch dinner. Yeah. We cannot let yeah. ourselves down. We didn't that. really fish a whole lot yesterday, man. We did a lot of exploring yesterday. Yeah. Today is exploring, but mostly fishing. Yeah, let's do it, man. I'm excited. Let's go. Let's go. Hold on. Park break. 
right here. That's the path right there, dude. Sick. Boom. There's that thing. Boom. All right. North Point. So let's let's put a couple boxes in this thing. Let's burn this with some poppers. Here we go. Everybody's wearing Crocs today, man. Preston's trying to be a mountain goat. <laughs> oh, dude, we're definitely on a cliff, bro. I thought I knew it would be. Oh, dude, this is sick, bro. Look at this, dude. It's deep. You can look at the wave. Nice and deep, bro. It's good for muddins. We want to try right here real quick for first? Yeah. Walk across here. Bro, this is sick. Look at these rocks, dude. They're gnarly. Oh my gosh, dude, it's so deep. Look at it, bro. Has to be snappers here, dude. There just has to be. There's no way. I'm gonna go down a little bit. Bro, this looks really good right here, bro. I'm gonna try right here. All right. It's really nice. One thing that's hard to determine on Google Maps is elevation. And uh, this is much higher than I thought it was. I mean, I'm, I'm 30 feet from the water right now, at least. So if I hook a 10 pound fish right now, we're, I don't know how we're gonna get it up. There we go, Got fish on. on. Got one Whoa. on. Oh, yellow jack, dude. Oh no, mudden, mudden. Is it really? Hold on, yeah. No, it's a dog snapper, dog snapper. Big one, dude. Yes, bro. Oh, cool, man. Dude, that's, an, oh, bro, that's a nice snapper, dude. <laughs> yes, sir. You know what this is? I've never, I've never seen that. You never seen one of these? No. I bet you it tastes good. Absolutely. This is uh, one of the fish we're gonna be eating for dinner tonight. I had a feeling about that jig, bro. He's heavy, dude. Hey, where there's one, there's two. Oh yeah. There he is. Got him on. Fish on, fish on. Watch out, big wave, big wave, big wave. <laughs> what is it? Oh, dude, what is it? Blue runner? A little different from the uh, blue runners we we're have. We're gonna eat them. Pretty fish. It looks like a hybrid. Let's eat them, dude. Let's try them. Oh, dude, that's got smoke, bro. There's a lot of fish right here. Oh, there we go. Fish on. Oh, boy. Dude, a lot of blue runners here, bro. Not a good wahoo bait. We'll keep that one. I'll let this one go. See you, buddy. There's a lot of fish here, dude. Yeah. So, so this was a spot me and Preston were really looking at on the maps in the northern north point i looked deep there were no waves breaking here and everything that we saw on google maps can is confirmed the only thing we didn't anticipate is how tall these cliffs are they're tall but this this spot here is i think the lowest the lowest spot and so then far. 100 yards down it washes out completely it looks really good right there bro we we'll see that waves breaking just yeah. before that wave breaking that looks very deep a nice little hole right there we'll try that too in between the two islands you know how it breaks off at the top yeah i think in between two islands, that, that, that channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably has a lot of fish. Come on, where it's dude. washed out right there. Yeah, yeah. Probably a lot of fish right there. Let's grab our fish. Let's get more nice. There we go. All right, let's go. All right, this may be interesting. Let's see if we go this way. Wow, this really drops off. Be careful, guys. Be careful. That really drops off. Wow, dude, look how beautiful this is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hang on, I gotta get a pic of this. Dude. How, how inviting is that water right there? Dude, it's just like, it wants you to swim in it. <laughs> gosh, I love that. On this north point, it's the same thing on Google Maps. It ends up here, that island is separate, there's a channel. And I think in that channel right there, there's a lot of nice moving water. And that's where we're gonna find most of our fish here. There's actually a little reef right here. Is there? Yeah. That's unbelievable. Look at the reef out there. Oh my, look how deep it is, look dude. Look at that pocket right there. Oh my gosh, dude. We can crawl right down to that rock right there, bro. Dude, I wanna get lower. Oh my, dude, look at that, bro. That's that is insane. epic. That's insane, that's, that's insane. There's no telling how deep that is. I'm gonna go look at it. Oh, this is, you gotta be careful here. It's where the crocs come really handy. I don't know, bro. It's really deep. Oh, bro, fish on. Real fish, dude, real fish. You got him on, Josh? I got a giant fish on, bro. I can't even move him. I'm just, I gotta stay elevated, there's a lot of rocks out there. A lot of rocks. 
Oh my gosh, dude. What is Bro, it? Bro, it's a huge grouper. It's a huge grouper. Oh my gosh. Bro, press to get over here. It's a big NASA grouper, bro. I'm coming. Oh my gosh. Dude, giant, bro, giant. Oh my gosh, dude, it's giant, bro. Oh my gosh, Preston. Preston, I need your help here, bro. I need I'm your help. Coming, Put dude. the rod down. Dude, look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. Oh my gosh. Preston, I got light leader, bro. I need you to help me grab him, bro. Josh, I don't know how to get down there. I got him. That is a stud, bro. Don't, don't, don't grab the line. Don't grab it. It's gonna break. It's gonna break. You got me in the rocks. You got me in the rocks. Hold on. Wait for the wave. Wait for the wave. Wait for the wave. Wait for the wave. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Hold on. Wait for the wave. Wait for the wave. Oh! He's here, bro. We got him. He's here, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> Look at that thing, dude. Epic. Dude. Oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> that is so sick. Grouper from shore, maxed out the rod. Dude, <laughs> that's an epic fish, man. Look how many times he hit the rocks. Look at oh, the stars dude. on him under his belly there. Oh my gosh. What an epic fish, so dude. Cool. Let, me go, let me go put him in the water. I think it's a Nassau. What else would it be? Yeah, it's a Nassau. I gotta, I, I gotta walk him over the cliff, dude. It's too dangerous right here. He, he could die right here. We gotta, I have to bring him to the other side where it's calm. Hold on, let me grab him. Let's go to the other side. Oh, he's coming back to color real nice, dude. Real nice. Gotta bring him across. Oh, dude, it's heavy. Would not be doing this anything other than Crocs. No way. So sketch. Very, 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 very slippery. I would stay right there, Davis. I want to move. I want to come down any further, bro. Careful, careful. Oh, you did it. Good. There he goes. There he goes. Dude. Oh, he made it. Dude, that was so sick. If they're out of season right now, you can't keep NASA grouper. That's my first ever NASA grouper I've ever caught. What a, what a beautiful fish. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful release. I'm worn out, but let's go catch more. Wow, my legs are jello. Woo! Preston, it's your turn now, buddy. He swam away perfect. Oh, beautiful. Dude, it's epic. Dude, it's so nice when you see a fish like that swim away because he can grow, get bigger. If he was in season, we definitely would have kept him. That's a darn good eating fish, but happy to see him go away. Happy to see him go away. Bro, think about that, dude. I, that fish had me in the rocks multiple times on 10 pound test, bro. Yeah, the whole time. I can't rock. believe I got him, bro. I, the, my vantage point watching you and the way that rod was bowed over, I was like, man. Dude, the rod was all the way. It's, this, is, this is trout tackle. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get another one. Let's do it. Look at it right there. What is that? Oh my ah, gosh, it's a giant fish. trigger fish. It's a giant trigger fish, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. It's oh my gosh. Where's he at? Look, he's right here. Oh my gosh, dude. I'm gonna put a different, I'm gonna put a Look small lure on. Look at him right here. You push that small on there? Yeah, it's really small. Oh, there we go. Blue runner. Dude, heck yeah. <laughs> cut bait, cut bait, bro. Yeah, no, so give, me, give me a chunk of him, bro. I'll use a chunk of him, bro. Get a trigger fish. Here. Get the deck stream, bro. These are these new knives that Dexter just made. They're not even out yet, dude. Got an awesome handle. There's two of them. Here he comes. He's coming for me. He's coming for me. He's eating me. There we go. There we go. We got him this time. How do we get him up? He's heavy, dude. Woo! There we go. Oh my gosh, dude. That's so sick. Bro, he's huge, man. Look oh. Man, look at his, his trigger mechanism Dude. way back here. Look at that yeah. trigger. Bro, you love eating. That's your favorite fish, right? That's my right? favorite. But this one is like serious. Bro, this is a beast, bro. Look at the look at the uh, dorsal fin, dude, and the anal fin. It's like an ocean sunfish. But feel how strong, you know, over in the Gulf. Oh, dude. It's a little, it's a little one. That thing is meant to do some damage it's a there. It's freaking toad, bro. Look at his teeth, dude. Black eyes. It'll bite your finger right off. We only need a couple more. I mean, we got a lot of fish, but I think if we get like one more, we're, we're really good for tonight, dude. I mean, yeah. Is your favorite fish? We got yeah. snapper. Yeah, both I of these that, I've, that, I've that never eaten. I think that's going to be good eating. Yeah, it might be. 
But I've never had anything in this bag I've never had, so I'm pretty excited about <laughs> that. Good, dude. Let's go. Good. I have a nickname for my Crocs. What do you call them? Dwayne the Croc Johnson. Dwayne the Croc Johnson? <laughs> They're so strong. There's no way you could do that with flip flops, uh -uh, bro. Uh -uh. You would break your leg and fall down the cliff and die. Yeah. <laughs> Snap your ankle in half in a second. Dude, that was really scenic, man. Like, yeah. if I did not feel like we were in the Bahamas. I uh -uh. felt like we were like in some like a Pacific island yeah, or something, I bro. Yeah, I felt like I was on the edge of California. <laughs> yeah. You know, if, if it wasn't for the humidity. Let's grab these handles right here. <sighs> oh, that one. That was a good one. Preston, how are your legs feeling, bro? Pretty, uh, pretty worn out, man. That was a lot, bro. It was. What, what time is it? I have no, no idea. Right, right, let's look. Lunch time? It's got to be. It's got to be lunch time. Dude, I'm, I, I'm sweating. Oh my gosh, it's 11:32. The, um, my legs are like two by fours, bro. I'm, I feel like, I feel like Pinocchio. It was so worth it, it though. It was easier because we had a goal in mind, you know? It's not like we were just blindlessly walking around. Yeah. And the scenery just really helped it out. But it was, it was a lot. There's no doubt. It was a lot. Oh, dude, we were basically went mountain climbing. <laughs> we did, man, with Crocs. Oh, heck mountain yeah. Mountain climbing with Crocs. So we're back here at Riding Rock and going to regroup, order some lunch, rig up our rods. We got our fish we got to take care of. Yep. Then we'll get back out there again. Sounds good. We need, definitely need a break after what we just did. Yeah, that was wild. And then that's it, bro. I think we're we're pretty much set, ready to go. Balloon fishing. Yeah. With the drone. We got the sky rigger. We got the drone. We're going to we got a ton of drone batteries. We're going from one end of the island to the entire Literally. different side. Exactly. Oh. Almost here, man. Woo! Look at that edge right there, bro. Like, that is ridiculous, bro. That is insane. Let's go see if our little fishy's alive, bro. I think, yeah, I think he is. Think so? As long as the hawk didn't get him. You put the drone right here. Oh, I see him. <laughs> no, you do not. Yeah, I swear, I see him. No, you do not. I swear. Where he's, is he? He's good, he's right oh there. Oh my gosh, he's there, bro. <laughs> no way. Bro, we have, we have a bait pen, dude. We officially have a natural Bait pen. Look how perfect that Dude, is. Dude, we are gonna stock that <laughs> full of bait today, bro. Oh my gosh. That cut bait's gonna work well. He's got me. He's got me. Oh, I just got hit. Come on, hit it again, hit it again. There we go. There we go. Bro, what? Look at the size of him, bro. Oh my gosh, Preston. Dude, that's gigantic. Dude. That's a Stud, dude. Bro, it's a turbo, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, we dude. thought that last one was big. Bro, oh, oh my gosh. It's like the biggest sugar fish I've ever seen, dude. It's like that one I, I saw at Tropic Star, bro. Oh my gosh, you just took so much line. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. This pen battle is, it's getting the job done. Here we go, here we go, here we go. <laughs> Got him. Oh, oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> Oh my god, dude, it's a monster. <laughs> dude, it's gigantic. Guys, that's a monster. I mean, dude, I can't get over. I mean, look at this, ready? Look at this. Look at those teeth. Those will tear anything apart. That is terrifying. Dude, this thing would take your finger off, bro. Bro, you see how much muscles behind those teeth? You think he's good there? Here, let's put our bait in there. So what me and you have to go do right now, we have to go catch this little fish, okay? Yeah, we do, don't we? We have to go catch him right now. <laughs> we, we, can, we, can, we can put him right back in there once we catch hang him. Hang on, hang on. Let's try and get him in that small hole over there. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna chase him. Oh, there there, there, there. He oh my gosh, bro, what a turd, dude. Like, He's really? behind you. Where is he? Here out. There he is, there he is. All right, stop, 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 stop. Ah! Go. <laughs> dude, this is like serious problems right now here. Hold on, where'd he go? He's under you. You gotta put it. You gotta put it right here. How heavy is that rock? It's heavy. I put it right here, dude. Whoa. Got him. 
Sweet! <laughs> Preston, can you keep him right here, bro, like the balloon and that? Yeah. Uh oh, you're trying to get back in there. Uh oh, you're trying to get back in there. Make sure you stay alive. It is pretty cool to have our own little live well right here. I'm in, I'm in insanely deep water. Did it pop out? It did, it did. Okay, stop, stop reeling, stop reeling, stop reeling. Freeze pool. After we deployed the bait with the drone, we learned something we did not anticipate. There was a lot of current out there. It washed the bait back towards shore. While it was coming back, something did eat it. There was a kink in the wire, but obviously we missed the fish. At that point, the sun started going down, so we headed back to Riding Rock Marina and started filleting our fish. Let's start off with this big boy here. A lot of people don't like cleaning them, but in my experience, it, it, once you get started, everything from there kind of goes pretty, pretty easily, but you got to have a sharp knife. It's super, super important. My brother spent some time up in Senegal and they use the trigger fish skin to clean up the floors in their huts there. And that looks, look at that. <laughs> it looks so good. Trigger fish is my favorite of the reef fish. One of the cool things about this part where you're taking the skin off, um, a lot of the reef fish you, you'll accidentally cut through, you'll poke through. Um, on a trigger fish, you really don't have to worry about that. Start here at the tail, right around the rib cage. There's your fish right there. We don't have a hose here. <laughs> Dude, I'm getting eaten alive no, me too. by no seams. How do you like that Dextreme knife, bro? I, I, do, I love this knife. The handle is I like sick, how right? it, it flexes just how you, yeah. you, you, know, you need. Dude, I'm gonna get the sharks to come and eat out of my hand right here. Throw it over here in the shallow water. Here, they're right here. Look at them right here. They're right here. They're right here. Right here. Right here. Who's right here? Right here. Right here. Oh, oh my God! What are you, dude? Oh, bro, 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 oh bro, my bro, 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 bro. This is a little reef shark, isn't it? Not a reef shark. Yeah, reef shark. Coming up here. Coming up. Coming up. Come on. Come on. Right there. Come on. Oh my God. Okay, this time we're gonna. Oh, he's right here. Right here. Got it. He's got it. He's got it. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, pick up, pick up, pick up. It's oh, yours, bro. It's yours. <laughs> I, can, I can catch him, bro. He's stuck. Look at him. Here we go. Here, he's gonna come get the carcass. Look, 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 look. Fish, so it is so much fun. It's so visual, bro. I mean, unfortunately, the kite's gonna be so far away, we're probably not gonna see the bite. But uh, really, yeah, it's gonna be hard to see the bite. So you're using the kite essentially as, a, as an outrigger, right? Or yeah, kind of, or, kind of. You want it to move a lot? Is that, the, is that the point? You want the kite to move? Yeah. No, not really. You want it to stay in one spot. You just want to make sure that your baits are. The, the one thing is the kite isn't go up and down with the wind, right? The wind's not gonna. It's never okay. exactly the same. So you gotta got keep. You adjusting the line so the bait is sitting in the right spot. So the bait's gonna be just subsurface, like just right there? Yeah, just subsurface, yeah. Like a green stick kind of? Yep, cool. it's so effective. I'm excited, dude, I can't wait. I wanna learn something. So, Preston. Yo. We definitely got good wind now, bro. Good. So, getting the kite up and getting it up high is gonna be a thing. The only problem with a high kite is, with braid, we, we might run into problems. Yeah. A lot of problems. Other problem is getting bait. We got rocks right here, so we're gonna have to try to catch fish here. I think we need to have the kites completely set up so that if we do catch a fish for bait, that we're ready to rock and roll. Yeah, yeah, that's the best way. We don't have a live well. Nope. Dude, the worst case scenario, we can't catch bait. You got we'll a ballyhoo? We got a ballyhoo. Yeah. We'll have to rig up ballyhoo. All right. I mean, that guy right there, I can do this. Carry all this. My legs hurt so much I might fall over. Hey Preston, you mind holding this for a sec, buddy? 
This sand is going to pound so, so, it is so soft. Funny, there's so many variables, dude. Like, I cut the pipes. Well, we we had them cut up at 50 inches, and we had another pipe that was like 65 inches. It was better. They've been way better, bro. Yeah. Cause you didn't, I didn't anticipate how soft the sand would be. Taking this up. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta hold, hold the kite up. Yeah. Let, let, let the wind catch it. Might have to use the white kite. It's that, it's that hill, bro. I'm telling you. I gotta use the white kite. I gotta use the bigger kite. It's correct. All right. This kite feels so much better. Just hold I, that real quick. I'm a novice at this. So the, the red kite was a heavier kite. Yeah, that's for a heavier wind. With less surface area, or is it the same size? Oh, this no, this one has more surface area. Let's okay. just see. Let's see. How, let's see what we're doing. Let it go. Laughing, bro. It's a lot more better. It's gonna go so high, dude. We gotta weigh it down with the bait. While Preston and I were setting up the kite, Davis managed to catch the first bait fish of the day. Beautiful bait, bro. Some yeah. great work catching that thing. Good teamwork. All right, Preston, just, just walk into the water. Put it in a free spool. There we go. Tight fishing in San Salvador, baby. This is exciting, man. I've never done this. I like it. Can't wait. What's up? Is the bait not in the water? I can't see it. Bait is in the water, but we need more weight. 100% for how high the kite is. Oh, oh dude, look at the sharks, bro. Oh my gosh, dude, look at them all. Oh, they're everywhere. Oh my gosh, look at them. They, they heard the word wahoo, and they're like, woo! Lemons, bro, those are lemons. We got our kite sitting pretty much perfectly right now, and it's just an absolute surreal moment that we are here in San Salvador with a kite in the air and a live bait off the beach in prime Wahoo territory. I mean, this is incredible. Dude, it really is, dude. We have a, good, a really good chance, I I think if we get some bigger baits, I think they'll still eat what we have right here, but if we get bigger baits, bro, we're gonna be, we're really gonna have a good shot of getting a fish. Like, like insanely good shot. This is Alan. We met him yesterday at the marina. Preston and him were talking. Preston showed him a picture of our NASA group we caught yesterday. And he was just like, he lit up like a, like a Christmas tree. And awesome personality. You grew up here on the island? Yeah, I did. Have you ever seen anybody fly kites like this off the beach? Never. Not a day in my life. <laughs> Do you think this could work? I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm interested to see it. This is, I think this is going to be something. This is like just mind blowing. <laughs> this is one of the closest points where the wall can where the land gets to the wall. Yeah. So this is like the perfect spot for something like this. I would never think we could use this area for something like that, so it's impressive. I always wanted, this is a dream of mine, bro, to put a kite out off San Sal and catch a wahoo from shore. Be the first person to ever catch a wahoo from shore that I know of. It's gonna become my dream, too. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff, but I'll be there, I'll be guys. I love it, man. Fish on. You gotta, you gotta grab the clip, you gotta grab the clip. There we go. Was it hard to pull out? Yeah, he, he may have been on there for a while. Yeah. You know? The battery we got didn't work with the kite reel, unfortunately. <laughs> so we had to crank in the kite. Yeah, I know, I was worried. We didn't think there was anything there. And then we saw someone was there, and I think, I think it's gone now. Unless Come it's, off? Unless it's swimming, I think so, bro. Bro, it bit through the wire, bro. Oh my gosh. Went through the wire, dude. Heavy wire, too. Bro, he was on there for a while. He ate it. It's number 10 wire. There was six feet of wire, bro. This thing had a lot of wire in its mouth. Yeah. yeah. Well, re-rig. I got another rig tied up. We got to put more weight on. We got to change, change our kite. That's insane, bro. And I don't know what that was, bro. Could have been a shark. Could have been a wahoo. Could have been... Something something big with weight. Hey, you know what? 
When I first came here, I was gonna double up, I said I was gonna double up the wire. Have to. Might have to use double number 10, dude. All right, we're learning. That was a serious fish, bro. I mean, it had weight, that had, had weight on it, bro. I, I felt it for a second, and then it went right, right through the wire. That's three ounces. I think if we put eight ounces, it'll, it'll weigh it down, and then if I weigh the kite down, we just gotta get that kite lower or we're gonna run out of line. And I think, I think, I think Eric's right, putting a balloon on there. It's gonna, uh, it's gonna make a huge difference for our indicator. The traditional indicator is not big enough. I'm doubling up the wire, I'm twisting it, braiding it. I got number, that was number 10, a single strand. I'm doing double number eight. I don't wanna go too thick yet, cause it might, it might, the fish might not bite it. I don't know, I mean, Wahoo hit cable, they, they don't really care, but just can't see them going through this, no way. Not a Wahoo, a big shark go through this, no problem, but not a Wahoo, just can't see it, maybe. These are big fish here. These are really, this is the legendary San Sao where 100 pound Wahoo is a very real possibility every day. There it is, doubled up, number eight wire, twisted up. Should be good. I'm gonna use two floats so that we can see the indicators. It's so far out, it's hard to see one. May not even make a difference. Hey Preston, you guys got a bait? What do you get? All right, Preston, you want to put him in the water? Yeah. Sending it, hold on, yeah, we're good, good. Everything's better now. Height's lower, we're not gonna burn as much line. I love the kite, so slow. We started off with a red kite, there wasn't enough wind. We switched to the white kite, it was just, the wind picked up and it was way too high and too far. So we switched back to the red kite. We, we put a split shot to bank it right. I put eight ounces sinker on this one instead of three ounces so we can weigh the line down. And we are flying much better. We're about to get to the edge. So we're on the southwest corner of the island called Sandy Point. And the ocean has no fences. And any, anything, could, anything could happen. Dude, a swordfish could come up right here and hang out with us. It's possible. I think we need a bigger bait out there, bro. I think that little bait is a waste of time. I'll go try over there real quick, bro. You want to watch this kite real quick? Woo! Guys, look at that. On the bucktail, I think that's a pudding wife wrasse. Just caught him right here in the surf at the rocks. How beautiful is that fish? Oh, he's hooked up. He took it, I promise. Is he taking line? Took it, but it's in the rock now. It's in the rocks? Yeah. Uh, that's what I think it is. Black grouper. There's a lot of grouper here. <laughs> there he goes. Bro, how strong is that, dude? That ain't no 30 pound test, bro. <laughs> so, Alex, like where that, where that was, we were here. A lot of groupers and snappers. Yeah. Oh yeah. Never thought we'd have to deal with reef fish breaking Coming us off. Up, yeah. I mean, we brought a lot of line, but that's a huge problem. We definitely, if we get in our big bay, we gotta quickly cross that that, that uh, reef because, dude, even when you're high speed trolling in the Bahamas, a black grouper will come up and yeah. eat your high speed trolling lure. Exactly. The way this is right here, it's hard. It's hard to really probably translate on camera, but you got, you got a little sand flat, and then you have a series of little reefs, and then there's, the reefs get bigger, and so we have these obstacles we got to overcome, uh, getting the bait out, and also bringing it back. Something's going to eat it for sure. Got a bait, perfect size. Oh. All right, Preston, just keep him alive, bro. Get the guy. I'm gonna get the kite in the air. You ready? Yeah. Dude, there's a lot to this right now, guys. I'm trying to make sure, I've never used a balloon on a kite before. And uh, it's definitely a lot more heavier than a little, little red or pink clip that we normally use. Trying to get to the ledge. 
trying to concentrate. I do not want to get eaten by one of those groupers again, like Preston, that just have a Preston. Trying to get out there fast without popping the clip. There's a lot of finesse here right now. We're moving pretty good. There we go, balloons out of the water. The, the amount of stress that's involved right now trying to get the bait out there without getting eaten by a cuda or a grouper or a snapper before we get to the edge. And the balloon is definitely huge. And I think what the balloon's gonna do is it's gonna keep, when, the, when this fish eats that bait, because there's so much slack, I think it's gonna keep, hopefully, if it doesn't pop, it's gonna keep that line tight. And uh, that will keep the hook buried in the, in the corner of the mouth. I have, I, have, I have a high hopes now that something's gonna up. We're gonna get one. We're gonna get one. You're in good waters. This is perfect timing. How deep one. is that water right there? You've dove that before, right? Yeah, I'll scuba dive it lots of times. Is that uh, over 100 feet where we are? Definitely. Oh my god. <laughs> definitely. Once you, get over, once you get past that 150 drop off, you're, you're going down to 1,000 plus. <laughs> Golly. <laughs> After seven hours of kite fishing, we all got pretty hungry. So Davis, Preston, and Alan headed into town to get a pizza. And while they were gone, I hooked a really big fish. Hooked up, man. We are hooked up on something. Oh, my arms are burning. I'll tell you what, guys, we had a kite fishing here on the beach. Had a fish out on the kite, live fish. Sunset drag. Ten torque sixty. Yesterday, so the first day we were here two days ago, we explored the island, got to know it. This is one of the spots we came to. Uh, the second day, which is yesterday, we fished to the north point. We caught a big Nassau grouper, some big trigger fish. And today we're kite fishing in the southwest corner at the Sandy Point. I got a big old lemon shark on right now. That's a big shark, dude. Guys, that's a that's a big shark. There he goes, guys. As close as I can get to him. Eric gotta help me, it's just me and Eric here. There's no way I could lift, that shark was close to 200 pounds, there's no way on 80 pound test I could, I could wire that thing up safely without turning my microphone or hurting myself with that fish or hurting the shark. It is what it is. Let's get re-rigged, try again. We caught the most perfect cuda for bait. I, I spent like 10 minutes Five, 10 minutes making the rig. I left the barracuda in the surf. He was just swimming around, he was happy. We, uh, I rigged it up. We were slowly putting it out, me and Eric, who's filming right now. Davis and Preston went to go get pizza. Been gone for a while. And while I was putting the out, the shark was cruising the trough. He could, you could see there was like this moment where he went, woo! And he, he picked up on this trail of the cuda and he went out there and ate it, popped it out. I mean, that fish was close to 200 pounds, if, if not more, and it's really hard to land one of those by yourself with 80 pound test. I mean, normally with shark leaders, I have 400 to up to a thousand pound mono shock leader. And when you have that, you can really put your weight into it. But with 80 pound test, there's, there's only so much you can do. So it is what it is. If we had the team here, we definitely would have landed that fish and, and taken, the, take, taken the hooks out. You know, I, I never like leaving a fish with hooks in, in its mouth, but unfortunately, that situation, it, it happened. It just, n nothing you can do, but, well, I gotta try to get another bait right now. Hopefully the guys come back soon and get in our, get in our line out there. This lady made homemade, homemade bohemian pizza. Yeah, yeah, I'm starved, bro. I have a headache, I'm so hungry, bro. Yeah. She makes homemade bread there as well, in her house. Yeah. I can't give it anymore, bro. I don't have anything left in me, bro. I'm so tired. I've been going so hard trying to get something to happen on this kite. We got the, got the lemon shark when you guys were getting pizza. Caught some nice wrasse. Caught a barracuda. You did not see that on camera. 
because I rigged it up and set it out there for for an awesome, the most perfect bait ever, <laughs> and the lemon shark ate it. So disappointed, but dude, I still we had a great day, bro. We we learned a lot about kite fishing. I mean, very few people have attempted what we have attempted today. I mean, that kite is so far out. We we couldn't use traditional kite fishing tackle. We had to use balloons on the kite line to even be able to see where the line is. I mean, I've never done that before. And this yeah. is like, this is what, is this your first kite, kite fishing yeah, experience? Yeah, it's the first time I've ever even seen a kite. It's a lot of work, bro. It's a lot of it's work. It's a lot of work. For one line. Yeah. A lot of work for one line. And we don't have a live well, so every time we have to put it out, we have to go catch a fresh bait. Yeah, we have to walk the beach, catch that fresh bait, time, run it yeah. down, put it in a bucket, rig up, yeah. fan it up. Yeah. And then we have to worry about the kite going in the water here. Exactly. Because the wind keeps changing. And this is only day three, and we've, we've walked up like 10 miles already, and it's just, I think everybody's tired. And Tomorrow, guys, or in the next show, we are going to do a multi-species challenge. So we're going to go hit this spot and two more spots to the, uh, east here. And we're going to do a challenge to me and Preston to see who can catch 10 species, double digits first. Yeah. Day four here on San Salvador, and it is blowing. We had a lot of wind this morning, so we got a late start. And we also don't have a ton of fuel. And the gas stations are not open the weekends. Today's Sunday. So we have to be very mindful of that. I think our best bet is French Bay on the south side. It's protected from the wind. This whole side is done. We can't fish yeah, the it. Yeah, whole, the whole east side of the island is blown out. So we have to fish French Bay and then this side right here. And I think today we do that multi-species challenge. Like first two uh, 10 yeah, species that'd be fun. wins. Yeah, I like that. That'd be a lot of fun. Yeah, I think we just let's pre-cut it right here. You wanna pre-cut it? Yeah, pre-cut it, put the, put it in the bag, that way you can just drop in and pick one out instead of I like that. carting okay. a knife everywhere. I'll cut it. Dude, you know what I like about this knife bro is this dude. Like yeah, this, I do that, like that. That flexibility yeah. is amazing. Yeah, that's good. It's extreme. So I'm gonna fillet it and then I'm gonna I'm gonna take the meat off. And then we're gonna use the skin part. Meat does not matter here. So we're gonna use this fish right here as the tip bait on our jigs. We're gonna use it because we, we kind of ran out of curly tails and there's not a tackle shop on the island. This is the closest we can get to French, I think it's French Bay, right? Yeah, French Bay is right here. So I think we start fishing right here and move our way down. I, I got a good feeling there might be some bonefish in there, bro. Might see your first ever bonefish. That'd be exciting. This wind is insane. Yeah, it's freaking blowing, dude. Makes you want to go offshore, doesn't it? <laughs> Absolutely not. These are the days where land-based fishing is the best. 10 species. Right there, shark, right there. Lemon shark. Here he comes. Oh gosh, he smells my jig. Here he comes, look at this. He's not gonna get my jig, man. He's coming for my jig. Like, this is hilarious. I don't know, hey, I did get whacked right here. You did? Yeah. You got bit off? No, I had a good fish on. There we go, fish on. Mudding. What you got? Got a mudding, dude. I got dinner. Can't get him in. Oh, mudding, nice. Woo! He took me in the rocks and everything. First fish of the day, mudding snapper. There's definitely some fish here, guys. Got nine more species to go. We'll keep him for dinner. Let's go up to that rock point right there. Maybe we can wade out right there. Hey? Yeah. I don't know how far north we can go before we start getting into super snags. Um, I was looking at those trees over there. So we waded out to the rock flats. There, Preston caught a barracuda. After releasing the barracuda, we noticed there was rain headed our way. We got a storm over there, bro. It's headed right for us. Head back to the car. Okay, that sounds good to and me. Then kind of check the radar and see what's going on, you yeah. know? <laughs> that storm is on us, dude. No. It's yeah. just different over here. All right. One of our dinners. It's going to be tough today, dude. It's going to be really tough. We've got a lot of weather, a lot of wind. Not the best. I mean, obviously, the west side of the island is going to be the calmest, but we, 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 we've over, well, what we've learned already uh, in terms of fish, the nor northeast point, which is completely wiped out right now, 
unless you fish the west side of it. Or the uh, down here is going to be our best bet. Or by the hotel. Mm. It doesn't look too promising. It's got to be, I think it's a high tide spot. Hey, Josh. We're on an incline or we're running out of fuel? Yeah. We're, we're out of gas. Because you're on the incline, bro. They're right. <laughs> Hurry. <laughs> that better? We almost ran out of gas. Yeah, we need to get off this. This is concerning. We're definitely low. The fuel uh, gauge may be completely wrong. We might be actually lower than we think we are. So, we are gonna check one more spot and then we're gonna head back and fish a marina because I think that's how much fuel we have left in the car. Should have fueled up on Friday, bro. Should have fueled up <laughs> yeah, on we Friday. Should've. We should have, that's all right. We got weather anyway, you know? Oh, we got mad weather all around us. There's like nothing we can do right now. Like this morning started off with rain and it's raining again. It's like we gotta wait for this window to open up and we have to really try hard to catch fish. I mean, right now we got one mud and snapper and we're starving. We need, we need more fish to eat for dinner tonight. Yeah, we do, we do. But it is raining, we might just have to get wet, you know? You yeah. know, there's up, there's ups and downs in life, or a lot of downs today, bro. Yeah. A lot of downs. We knew, we knew there was a big possibility, though. We're back here at Riding Rock. Eric's cooking our lunch right here. And there is actually a ton of fish back here on the rocks. He can cook a giant raft. We see some trigger fish. Dude, I think we could uh, we could sway right here, bro. Yeah, I mean, rain. look at it. It's incredible. We could just walk right up to the window. While yeah, I, I agree. Let's try it. Perfect. About to be another wind now. There we go. Good fish. Good fish. Oh, nice jack, dude. Why couldn't we catch them this easy when we were kite fishing yesterday? Should just fly the kites right off of here. Seriously. Fish on, fish on. Fish on. Get him, get him. Ah, come on, buddy. Big rat. Oh, big rat, bro. Keep that one, keep that one, bro. Oh my gosh, giant rat, bro. I got one too. <laughs> Strawberry grouper. Strawberry grouper. <laughs> dude, that, 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 that rat's good. Oh, it's not a strawberry, bro. It's like a little NASA. Or I don't know what this is, dude. <gasps> Look at the parasite on him. Oh my gosh. Look at the parasite on the grouper. Oh my gosh. Woo, don't find me. Family as the uh, hogfish. Yeah. Hogfish are not snappers. They're a rat. They should be called the hogfish rat. Another little grouper. Another grouper. Same one. Different species. Same species. We both caught one of those. So what is that? I don't know. It's not a strawberry, I don't think. It might be. Fish behind the resort. What we got here, we got sauteed beans with minced uh, garlic and onion, sauteed to a nice translucent so it melts into the bean, light salt spices. I'm boiling some water here with butter for our jasmine white rice. And over on the grill, we're gonna do some uh, steamed vegetables on the burner right over here. And then on the grill, once this is ready to go, we're gonna have grilled hot dogs and hamburgers uh, and it'll be ready to go. Nice lunch for everyone on the crew. It'll be ready to rock this afternoon. How many, I'm at, I think I'm at five. How many pieces are you at? Uh, I don't know, five or six, something like that. I gotta catch one of those trigger fish, bro. I think, I think right here we could catch 10 species each, dude. There's I so a little many bit fish smaller. in the water. I, I can get those triggers. Hey? Yeah. There we go. Same little piece of grouper. Oh, 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 there he goes. He gone. Put a piece of bait on. The weight, the, the weight of the bait is enough to cast it out. We don't have to go far. These fish are all closed. That's how we're gonna get all these trigger fish. They're not giant triggers, but they're triggers. There's a lot more species down there too. Hey, he's eating me. He's eating me. There we go. Trigger fish on. Got yeah. him. Oh yeah, trigger baby. Woo! Is that the, that's a different species, isn't it's a different it? Different species, yeah. Look at that trigger Definitely fish. Definitely different species. Dude, he's chunky, bro. Yeah. Look at that blue line on his on his dorsal fin. Which one? Oh my gosh! Look at this. Yeah, he's right. Look at that blue line right there, bro. It looks like a battery. It's fluorescent. There we go. We got him. Oh, he's giant, dude. What he's is it? So hard. Grass. Big pudding white, bro. Don't go on the rock. 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 <laughs> oh. oh, number six for me. Oh, oh dude, that's the pretty. pudding wife, bro. Look at that, guys. Pudding wife wrasse, very, very good. Tastes very similar to hogfish. Delicious. I've eaten these before. They're 
unbelievably good. Unbelievably good. Look at that mouth, just like a hogfish. I think he got me. There we go, trigger on. Sweet. Dinner, dinner. Yes, sir. Oh yeah, another trigger. Dude, they're so fat, bro. Look how fat, I mean, that's the fattest trigger. Listen, listen, noise he's making. Listen, listen guys, listen. That's his fin making the noise. That's his fin right here. It's like a little airplane. <laughs> there we go, there we you go. got him, you got him? What'd you got? I don't know what I got. What do I oh, got? He's right there. It's a little Bro, snapper. Is it a freaking, it's a schoolmaster. It's a schoolmaster. Woo, nice snapper. We'll do him whole. Dude, oh yeah. That's number, is that number six or seven for me? Seven, I think. He's looking all over, telling you like this video and subscribe. Oh my gosh, dude, you guys got blown up on. Oh, we go, there we go. Big fish, big fish, big fish, big fish, big fish. Big fish. Definitely a big snapper. Taking a lot of line. We are maxed out. It's a real fish, guys, real fish. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna follow him. It's in the rocks. No! Oh, that was a real fish. What a shame. Wow. It's the first time I've really been defeated on this trip. That's things. Broke me off right in the rocks. Dude, I just lost a giant mud and bro. Like legit, like 10 pounder. He broke me off in the rocks and I, I couldn't do anything. It's terrible. It's really bad. It's really bad, dude. That would have been good on the grill. Dude, that would have been good, bro. That sucks. Dude, I just lost like a 10 pound mud and bro. No. Dead serious. Really? Bro, he cut me. He took me all the way around. He wrapped me around a rock room and broke me off. Ah. Oh. Dude, Heartbreaker, screaming man. Screaming drag, bro. No. <laughs> yes, dude. I did catch a pudding wife. Caught a pudding wife? Oh, dude. That's my first I, I, one. I'm so disoriented right now, bro. That's the first real fish I've lost this trip, dude. He's got smoke. There's nothing I could do. He was yeah. he was running down the wall. Little live runner in there. I think this area is is loaded. I was there's a little blue trigger fish. Where? He was running out. I caught him. So you did? Yeah. Is he in the bag? Yeah, but uh. Blue. He was blue, he was all lit up. And it looked like, 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 a, like a file fish. But anyway, I was chasing him, and that pudding wife, they're extremely aggressive. They are. Like, really aggressive. Yeah. Like it came up and got, so I caught the pudding wife, and I lost the trigger at first, I couldn't find him. And then he was hanging out, and I got him, so. Let's see, do you have him in the bag? Let's yeah. see what he looks like. He was super lit up in the water. See how like weird? Oh, dude. Yeah. This is the same one we caught earlier, bro. Is he? It's just whiter. Yeah, look at this. Same one we caught earlier. He was just, just smaller. Yeah, he was really lit up in the water. Maybe wow. just different water here. That's sick, dude. We got some good eating fish in here, There's bro. There's a big pudding wife right there. Which one? Oh, wow. All right. I, do, I realistically don't think we're gonna hit 10 species today. That's a lot. That was huge ex expectations from shore. But we did catch a lot of variety. Let's go give it a few more minutes here. I think our lunch or slash early dinner is almost ready. Then we'll go eat. I think I caught like six or seven species. How many did you get? Six or seven, I yeah. think. I think 10 is really hard to do yeah. unless we really fish the whole yeah. island, dude. I think we caught the exact same species aside from the cuda, honestly. Yeah, but uh, we're gonna eat this beautiful meal here. Uh, I think we're finished, dude. I, I don't think we're ever gonna hit 10 species, dude. I don't think so. Not with the rain. The rain got in the way. The, the gas tank the got in the way. Gas tank, dude, the lights on. But dude, <laughs> how, how nice is Riding Rock? So, so our gas tank ran out and Jason called his brother and they brought another car for us to use for tomorrow. Did they really? Yeah. Man. I didn't know they that. Did that dude. Dang. These people are amazing here, guys. If you're gonna come to San Salvador, you gotta check out Riding Rock. The link's in the description. Go and check them out. And They're... it's on a Sunday. And dude, look at the fish we caught right behind here. Yeah. Dude, I wanna fly kites behind the resort, yeah, bro. We need like, to. It's, the edge is not really close, but I think if we fish in like 60 feet of water, it's just inside the edge. There's a lot of reef right there. I think we can get some nice mud in that, bro. Yeah, I do too. I think we're day five, day six. I don't even know anymore. We kind of lost track of time here. So Preston was talking to Alan. Alan said on this side over here, I think this is Dump Reef, and this is the North, uh, North Point. In between here, there's a lot of muddins. So we're gonna give this a couple hours. We gotta 
See, we'll see if we can do your first mud in. Yeah, that's really what I want to do. We need to come back here and do our COVID test, and then <laughs> we will fish for some bait here because we got we got to do laundry in that today too. And then we'll we'll fish cut bait in the marina later today. See what we can catch. Maybe a cubera. Yeah, no, that'd be sick. I called Jason yesterday, and the man hooked it up. We got they opened the gas the gas station for us, and we got fuel. So. Yeah, it's huge. That is so big. It's a big yeah. victory. We can go anywhere we want on the island now. We got more than half a tank. It's beautiful. Alright. Put the pen slammers on. A little revenge action today? Yeah. We upgraded our tackle here. We got our pen slammer 2500. I got the Black Bitch Platinum Rod. He's got the Black Bitch Split Grip Rod, 6 to 12 pound. Bonefish Foley was the one that taught me how to rig him like this. Yeah? That's what, how we did it, Tommy. We whacked the mud into the bonefish in a West End, dude, so. It looks good. It's, it's it. been effective here, right? <laughs> Give it a shot, man. That's what he said to go. We can fish all that over there, too. This looks better right here, though. Looks really good. Looks really dangerous, too. Like, I would use a tighter drag. So Preston has not caught a mud and snapper yet. It's one of the fish that he has not caught, and he really wants to catch one. Got a chaser. Got a chaser. Right here, right here, right here, right here. I got a chaser right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a couple more casts here. I'm gonna. It's a puffer I'll, fish right here, bro. I'm onward. It's a box fish. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. What the heck? Ah! Oh, we need Tommy. I'm on, I'm moving onward. I think, dude. Here we go. Here we go. Mud it on. Mud it on. No way. Yep. Oh yeah. Right when I say that, dude. Mm. Good mutton? What is it? Oh, it's a big yellow jack. It's a yellow jack. Oh, dude. I think it's a yellow jack, bro. There's one following him. See that? That's a runner. Oh, bro. That's a giant. That's a giant, though. But well, that would have been Jeez. ideal for the kite, bro. Golly. Oh, my gosh, dude. We can keep that alive for the kite. We'll, we'll use him for cut bait anyway. Yeah, we will. Yeah, we'll keep him for cut bait. Dang, that's a, that's a big one. Bro, that is like, one. that's the most perfect kite bait ever right there, bro. Here. Pretty. If a Wahoo saw that, dude, a 90, oh, he, he'd yeah. be gone, dude. Why can't we catch these when we're kite fishing? It's a fun fighter, man. Just by this boat right here. I wanted to be in mud and hanging out. Here we go. Good cast. Good cast. Here we go. Fish on. That's a nice. Wow. That is a nice tight bait. Oh my gosh. We'll use them for cut bait later. If I could find a bait like this, my gosh, from uh, one of those kite fishing spots. Consistently, it'd be, it'd be over. We would have, if we put our time in, we would get a Wahoo, 100%. Let's keep going, bro. It's a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah. I mean, <clears throat> yeah, it is. I mean, we keep getting little obstacles thrown our way, like like storms. Like rain, know. dude. Well, you know, I'm, I'm really shocked we did not find a mud in there, bro. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of fish there. I did some seriously risky casts on those pilings, like risking it all. And Nothing. just, no, I got the jacks. Yeah. Um, well, tide, tide's super low right now. It's yeah. Tide is, is another huge factor that we're not really, because we don't know the area that well. I mean, that's that's like one of the biggest things for the local knowledge is understanding where the fish move with the tides. You know, and we, we don't have that knowledge. We're just figuring it out as we go. Yeah. From the North Point docks, we headed west towards Dump Reef. This was a bit of a challenge. We had to figure out how to actually get to the water, and to get there, we had to walk through some serious brush. This looks really good, bro. Look at this. Yeah, I like this. This looks really good. Just went through a jungle, bro, to get here. Yeah, straight up. So in between these gaps, that's where the mud ends would be, bro. Got two frigate birds over there. There we go, fish on. Got. Another jack. I'm gonna keep him for cut bait right here. Oh no! Put him over here. Will they there dive? we go. Another jack. Big one, bro. Wow. Great cut bait. These things are everywhere, dude. Keep him. We forgot to bring a bucket, bro. Dang it. Got one? Fish on. Cut bait. Same one. That's a yellow jack, bro. Yellow jack? That's a yellow jack. 
got yellow eyes. I don't know what that is, though. It looks like a different species of blue. No, that's runner. a yellow jack, bro. Is it? I think so. Very good eating. Fish hey. on! Mudden! That's a mudden, bro! That's a mudden, dude! That's him, bro! That's him, Preston! Oh my gosh, you got him? Yeah, he's on. Is he in the rock? Yes, I see him right here. Oh, I'm coming down. I'm gonna help you. Don't in. rush it. A, oh, bro, it's a gigantic schoolmaster, bro. That is gigantic. No, 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 hold on, hold on. Hold on, don't lose him, don't lose him. That's the biggest schoolmaster I've ever seen. That is a big Dude, school that master. might be a world record, bro. Oh my god. Dude, that is ridiculous, dude. Oh my gosh. That is a big schoolmaster. Dude, that's a beast, bro. It's a monster, that's, dude. That's a big schoolmaster. That's the biggest schoolmaster I've ever seen. You want to hold him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Giant, bro. You can tell, man. Look at his teeth. That's unbelievably big, bro. Heck I've yeah, never, man. I never, I didn't know they got that big. I didn't either. We got him, dude. Dude, you caught two really good eating fish, bro. Yellow Jack and gigantic schoolmaster. I I've never had Yellow Jack. Oh, they're so good, dude. Delicious. Unfortunately, we ran out of time. I really, really, really like this spot. There's a lot of fish here. I want to come back. There's a lot of trigger fish right here, so I think we come here with cut bait, whack triggers. And I noticed down there by that flat, there's some really interesting stuff going on down there, and I want to fish that. So we'll be back here. But we gotta go, go get our COVID stuff now, so let's go. So we headed back to Riding Rock Resort. After getting our COVID test, it started raining, and it did not look like it was gonna stop. So we ditched our cinema cameras, grabbed our GoPros, and headed to the marina. So after getting our COVID test, I mean, all tests negative, by the way, we uh, had a problem with the weather. As you can tell, it's, it's pouring rain now. So we had to take off the, uh, the main cams and switch the GoPro. So we need, uh, we're gonna fillet our fish right now that we caught. Unfortunately, the schoolmaster is not a world record. Unfortunately, it was no. way bigger. <laughs> <laughs> this is the biggest one I've ever seen. It could have been the second. Yeah. They don't do the second. Yeah. I don't think so. Uh, it, was, it wasn't even close. No. <laughs> Dude, I, I, 13 pounds, four ounces was the world record I think yeah, it was. Yeah. That's like ridiculous. But I've never caught a schoolmaster, so. I think it was a giant, bro. We're gonna eat them for dinner, bro. Yeah, I'm yeah, excited. We got our Dextream knives, and we're gonna show you guys how these things work today. They're, they're gonna work really well on the uh, schoolmaster. You know what's crazy, Preston, if you tie too many of these, like I, tie, I sat there for like hours and hours once tying it, I developed tendonitis, dude. Yeah. This, these things. I don't ever tie this thick, but I can imagine if you do that. I was tying number 19 like over and over and over <laughs> and over and over and over. Yeah. <laughs> we usually make up 100 rigs for the season. Yeah. Stinger rigs, king rigs. Yeah. And just get it out of the way. Yeah. And now put them in a styrofoam box, a cooler. Really? Just line the whole inside of the cooler with them so they stay nice. We got our, we're going to be using our, our Pen Torque 40s right here. Got the silver ones, two speed. These things are uh, brutes. They got 40 pounds of drag, which is plenty. I don't think anything here is gonna break us off. What do you think? No, I don't think so. Unless there's something really, really big in this marina that we have not seen yet. Yeah, it is, it is San Salvador. This is Jurassic Park. For right now, what we're fishing for is literally whatever bites. I mean, we're putting wire on because we know there's toothy critters down there, there's cuberas, or sharks. But we're gonna we're gonna start off with this and see and we're gonna go we're gonna go backwards, but we're gonna start off heavy. I don't wanna lose a good fish because we're not ready for it. Water's dirty. It's milky. It's milky, which can be really good for us with 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 our leader material situation. Yeah, yeah I agree. Um, and uh, that's all from that gravel right there. Let's let's throw our baits in quietly so yeah. we don't attract yeah, sharks. Yeah, yeah. That'd be that'd be that'd be, that'd be ideal. We did see a shark here the other day, so we, we don't did. we don't wanna wanna. Preston, mess you wanna give me a hand with the cooler? Yeah. Yeah. Got it? Yep. What's this? So I'm gonna show everyone right now the school. We're gonna fill the schoolmaster. Oh, dude, we, do we have Ziplocs, bro? You wanna just put the meat back in the. Yeah, uh, we'll put it back, back in there. Back in there? Yeah. Ah, that's a giant, bro. I can't. I, can you imagine what a 13 pounder would look like? He's, he's ice cold. This is the new Dextream knife, and it has a serrated top up here, right? So this is really cool. This is for starting your fillet. So instead of you dulling your knife, <laughs> you, you come up here with it serrated, you punch in, and you start your fillet so you don't dull your, Thanks, your yeah. blade. The sword, you brought the sword out. You brought the sword out, dude. Same punch in, this side. I do love the flexibility of this knife, it's awesome. Dude, a Cubera would smoke this, It bro. would smoke that, I think. 
You, 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 do you want to use this one? Yeah, yeah. All right, this one's yours. All right. Through the bottom jaw, up through the top jaw. All right, dude, so let's just lower them real, real quietly here, nice and gently. Dude, you know what I find interesting? With how close the, the edge is here, anything can come in from there, bro. Yeah. Big groupers, big yeah. blacks, They're big in NASA's. They're definitely in here. They have to be. Big, big Cuberas. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I'm looking for a Cubera. A big Cubera will come up and feed with the sharks, dude. Yeah. They're not Sa Same as a uh, Goliath. Did yeah. Goliath come over here? No. Oh, he's got it. He got it. He got what it. He got it. He got it. He got it. He got it. Got it. Dude, what do you got? What do we got? What is that? Oh, my gosh. Dude, it's going really fast. It's going really fast. Really fast. It's trying to swim out. Dude. Dude, it's taking me. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh, dude. It's going to spool me, bro. I don't know. No way. No, no he's, he's not. He's there. He's there. He's there. He's trying to pick that, me up. Giant bro, what was that, dude? So, uh, as you guys can see right here, there is a, a serious shark problem. We got like four nurse sharks right here. There's some random lemon sharks coming around. I d if I can get the bait to the bottom through the sharks, I think we got a good chance. But we got to get through these things. That'll work. That'll work, yeah. See what happens. Uh oh, I'm gonna bite. I'm gonna bite. I'm gonna bite, dude. I got, I got, I got something. I got something. I got something. Is he on? Is he on? He's on. What is that? It's swimming toward us, bro. What is it? What is that? Dude, he's going really fast now, bro. Look at this. 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 Oh, he's going out to release. He's going to the braid, dude. He's going to the braid. Oh my gosh. He's still going, dude. He's still going. Bro, dude, this is a giant fish, bro. <laughs> what the heck is going on here, bro? He's trying to take me out to the ocean. Oh my. So far out. Oh my gosh, it's a shark, dude. Daggummit. You guys don't remember Preston. <laughs> if you saw the Goliath Hoover from the, from the dock, that was Preston. Hold it on to me when we had Max Drag trying not to get broke off. <laughs> That's a big reef shark, dude. What is cool is this my first ever land based. Reef shark. That is that is really cool. And very few people get them from shore because they're usually out on the on the reef. Right. Come right to me. Come right to me. Look at this reef shark right here. That is a big reef shark. Oh my gosh. We're gonna get the hook out and let it go. Ah, here we go. Release. We wanted to be prepared for our final day of kite fishing, so Preston and I went to our projected kite fishing spot and tried catching bait to put in the tide pools. The weather made it very difficult for us to catch bait, so we headed back to Riding Rock Resort. There, we put up the kite and we hooked up. Got one. Ah. Ah. No, don't get under the, under the reef. Dude, this is the real deal, bro. This is the real deal. Josh, do you want to change your mic battery or do you want to run shotgun? I, I can't, I can't stop really. Okay, okay, run shotgun, roll that. I had him, bro. Grouper. Yeah, it's a grouper. Pop it. After that fish broke us off, it was way too dark to continue kite fishing. So we headed back to our room there we started rigging for our final day of kite fishing. We're ready. We're, we, every reel is spooled up. We got 30 pound Berkeley fire line with 50 pound big game. And on top of that, we have a Bimini 2, an Alberta knot. We have 80 pound fluorocarbon, 25, 30 feet of that on each reel. Preston, are you ready, bro? I know, I, I know I'm you're ready. a huge fan of the kite, but this this well, be this time. The, the thing with me is I, didn't, I just didn't know. No, you, I, you, you know, haven't done I it. I didn't do it, you know, so it's very foreign, but... Uh, if you see a Wahoo a sky on a live bait, does yeah, that get you going? I, I, 100%, you know, <laughs> I can't wait, man. All right, we're gonna eat some dinner, Eric, we some chicken wings, and then tomorrow, guys, we are going to kite fish. Last day, this is the big thing. We're, we're gonna be able to fish a spot we've been wanting to fish the whole time. This is the first time we've had the wind. We've got a northwest wind. Gonna start off. Hopefully, that that east wind goes a little more north. Yeah. And we'll be good to go, bro. Yeah. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right. Let's eat. Cool. On the following day at sunrise, we drove to the south side of the island and started setting up our kites. Look 
much more the kite is now over the rocks. Look at, look at it now. Gosh, it's banking good right here, bro. We're gonna have to put it in the sand over here. The wind direction was not working in our favor, so we had to move our kite reel from the beach to the rocks. To prevent the kite rod from falling over, we had to build a rock wall around the PVC pipe. We managed to get a bait out on the kite, but it was short-lived. Storms quickly surrounded us, and we had to pack up and leave. We tried kite fishing this morning. The wind was completely not in our favor, and if you look to my right over here, you can see that we got a massive storm headed our way. The storms are killing us, Preston. Yep. Killing us, dude. Can't kite fish in a storm. I mean, if you guys have ever heard of story of Benjamin Franklin with his kite, uh, with electricity, you do not fly kites with lightning. And that's a big, big no-no. We did catch some live bait. We got about, I think, five baits in the tide pool. We're gonna come back this afternoon if the wind switches and try one last hurrah. We have to get a COVID test before we go. And we have a dinner tonight at Riding Rock. So we're gonna do our best, bro. Do our yeah. best. Once the storms cleared, we headed back to the same spot and started kite fishing. This morning was a tough defeat, but we're back here again this afternoon. You can see the kite, it is going offshore. Everything looks a hundred times better. We got some live baits that we caught earlier, so we're gonna send one of those out right now. That's the drop right there, that blue thing right there, guys, that blue water, that's 150 feet right there. This is one of the closest places in the world where you can get water that, that deep, you know, especially here in the Western Hemisphere. So we're gonna send a bait out right now. Preston, you ready, buddy? Yeah. Let's go. Yes. Can I see it? There it is. Put him up over, over here. Ready, go! After all the obstacles today, we got a bait in the blue water. I'm so pumped right now. It's looking good. The kite is further out than it ever has been. The wind is gonna keep turning a little more to the north, but we got enough now we're on the edge. The edge is only about it's less than 500 feet away from, from these rocks, which is absolutely incredible. And that edge, when I, when I say that edge, that, that's 150 feet of water. That's where the Wahoo are. That's where all your pelagians are going to be cruising that edge. You got a fish. Fish on. He just broke it off in the ledge, dude. Unreal. Gosh, dude, he ate it. The problem is there's so much line out, it's hard to know if you get a bite, but that was definitely a fish. Gosh, dude, that's so annoying. Just keep it tight because it will get snagged if the weight's still there, I think. Ready? All right, Eric, I need your help with the kite just to, just to hold the, uh, the metal. Are you back in mono yet? No. Dang. I some chafed up like. Probably 30 foot. No, there's a grouper. Oh, bro, these groupers are kicking our butts, man. There's, there's nothing, there's, I actually think there's a 1% chance of pulling one of those groupers out of there, bro. Like, so you know what, new thing, if the balloon disappears, start cranking as fast as possible. I need a team effort right now. I gotta stop filming for one sec. And we gotta all work together and get this kite out. Let me get the next bait rigged out, and then, and then once I get rigged up, I'll start reeling. But let's all, Crank this thing as fast as possible. Absolutely dead, I know, dude. I know. We, we, we need our camera guys, dude. They're our big, strong camera guys that that have big, big muscles because they carry heavy cameras all day long. Dude, this is ridiculous. The big old Wahoo. Mr. Wahoo wants you. Just wants a little taste. That's all. Eric, I need help with this. Make sure it's not tangled. Yeah. Go. He's got a fish. Preston, I might have to switch to you, bro, if we're gonna land this fish. All right, I'm gonna get the gas to us It's a pelagic, bro. He's running, he's running, he's running, he's running, he's running, he's running. Staying on top of the water. Stay on top of the water. This is uh, this could be the wahoo. This could be it. It's a big fish, bro. You can feel him. 
How's that reel working? This reel's awesome. Come on. Is someone award me now? When do you want to be? Dude, this is the real deal, bro. Head shaking, running. I get more of an angle on him. Preston, I'm out the switch you, bro. Yeah. This is it, bro. It's what we've been here for. Ah. Watch that guy. Ah. Ah. Okay, ready? Yep. Real, real tight, real tight, real tight, real tight, real tight, real tight. Real, 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 real. It's the real deal, bro. It's got weight to it. You know what, guys? I'm exhausted. We've worked so hard, I do not want to lose this fish, and I also want to share with my buddy Preston. I don't care about it being my fish or his fish. It's just, I just want to get the fish in. Just keep feeling, bro. He's been doing that the whole time. He's coming toward us. Feel weight? Oh, that rock is scary. Let's keep going to the beach over here, guys. Yeah, no, no, hold on, I just want to get tight. I want to get tight. I want to get tight. Yeah, he's there. He's there. He's there. Oh, man. Woo! Oh. Hey, hey, we, we, got, got, him. we, we got, got him. Mono, we got mono. Mono! What do you want me to do? Just Walk to the beach. Just, just, just keep reeling, keep reeling. Just keep, just keep, keep the line tight, keep the line tight. Keep the line tight, keep the line tight. Line tight, line tight, line tight. Hey, he's right there. He's still there. He got eaten, bro. No oh, way. He got eaten. Look. No oh, way. He was so close. I was feeling that weight, I guess. I was feeling that weight. Let's send one more out, bro. One more out, dude. <sighs> oh my gosh, that's hard to reel in, bro. We just reeled in, what, like 800 yards of line? <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. That was a good fish. I don't think that was barracuda, bro. Uh, I, don't think that, I think that was something, a pelagic, bro. He's on the surface the whole time. It's a little Some, safe, but... Something grabbed him, bro. Yeah. Oh, gosh, it's frustrating. Sun's gone. Wind's we got up. dinner at Riding Rock in about an hour. So we got to start bringing it in slowly. We're going to reel the kite in first, and then we'll reel in the bait. Hopefully, we get this last minute bite. That's what I'm hoping for. Otherwise, I'm going to have to wait at least a year to do this again. I want to come, dude, I'm going to miss this island so much, bro. It's cool place. It really is. 10 days on San Salvador. I'll tell you what, I'll never forget this trip, bro. This was, we didn't catch the monsters. And we, we told you that this is, this trip wasn't about catching this monster epic fish. This was about exploring a new fishery, exploring an island that we've been dreaming of our whole lives the place that not a lot of people get to come to. And if you do have the opportunity, you've got to come here. It's tr it's one of a kind. I've never seen anything like it. Yeah. And yesterday, we, we, we believe we hooked the Wahoo. We got eaten by a shark, unfortunately. The whole the whole trip, man, I mean, I have, my hat's off to you, really, because this has been on your in your head for forever. You yeah. always talked about it, and we made it happen. You invited me last minute. We made it work. It wasn't easy. No, it was and a lot of work. I, I bet you we walked 25 miles. I, I was about to say, I. The 25 miles we walked, and and think about this. So we we had covered in packs all of our gear, and it wasn't sandy beach walking. It was it was. We we literally walked on coral that had never been walked on before in the history of this planet. Because when we were walking on it, it was it was crunching underneath our feet. Yeah. It was. Thank, thankfully, we we had had the Crocs, Crocs man. On, man. I, I would not have been able to do it in flops. No, no way, way, bro. No way. no way, dude. And you can see, like, like even, you saw me running full tilt with these yeah. with these on, yeah. on those pointy, sharp rocks, dude. It, it's from in the water to up high elevation. These, these are the best fishing shoes on the yeah, planet. I don't care what anyone they're, says, they're bro. Great. The people we've met here on this trip is probably going to be lifetime relationships. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, this is not my last time ever coming here. I'm definitely coming back as as soon as I can. You know. And uh, I really wanted to come back here for the blue marlin in the spring. I mean, this place is legendary for first blue marlin fishery in the spring. It's really, really incredible. This is one of the greatest wahoo fisheries on the planet. Any day in, in the winter, you can come here and catch a 100-pound wahoo or bigger. This is, uh, we, we saw a 90 at the dock just, just walking by. You know, I think the next time we come here, we gotta, we gotta bring the boat. Yeah. You know, explore, we've explored the whole island. There's a few places we weren't able to get to, which is too far. 
The island's a lot bigger than we thought it was. Way bigger than we thought it was. Thank God we had, we had the rental car. But I think next time we come here, we explore the reef, we explore everything around this yeah. island on the boat and just really learn that as well. Yeah, no, I, I, I agree. It is a magical place. I mean, where in the world can you go where the fishing's amazing, the locals are amazing, and it's absolutely beautiful. You know, like there's nothing- Bahamas. There's nothing wrong with San Sal. There's no. nothing wrong with it. No. Everything's great. You guys gotta check out San Sal. Go in the description right now. Make sure you guys go and check out Crocs. Make sure you guys check out Riding Rock. Check out Sands Resort. And make sure you guys go and check out all our Black Tip H merch at blacktipH.com. I hope you guys enjoyed this series. This was so much fun to film. Something I've been, like I said, you guys have been asking for land-based stuff and this is the year we're gonna do it. We're gonna keep doing more and more of this stuff. Let us know in the comments what you thought of this whole series. We really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.